Right, hello everybody, my name's Ethan. Um, so you're like me, you haven't got VADCOM, you've got electronic park brake, you've got new discs and pads, but you can't fit them because you haven't got VADCOM, so you can't get the wine back to go back. You've got as far as me and you're struggling. Well, you can do it without VADCOM, and you can do it without a wine back, so that's what I'm gonna show you today, and proof that I've done it is the fact that these discs and pads are brand new and they've just been put on to replace my old ones that were pretty much dead. So let's get it. So before we get into it, we'll go over tools quickly. Uh, first thing you need, you're gonna need a hammer. Uh, you're gonna need a seven mil Allen key. You can get away with sockets, but they might be too big. So I'd highly suggest a seven mil Allen key. You're gonna need a Torx bit. I didn't have the screwdriver in, so I've just used this uh, twisty one just for the, hold the disc in place. You need copper grease and um, you need 17 mil socket and your lock nut to take the wheels off obviously um, and you're going to need a g-clamp uh, the g-clamp is the most important bit here if you've got a g-clamp you're going to fly through this if you haven't you might really struggle so make sure you've just got these four tools that's all you need to do to do first thing you want to do is if you've got them remove your lug nut covers uh, you use a special tool piece apparently but i just put a screwdriver in and pull them back and they come off dead quick. You want to slacken them whilst on the floor. Um, and I'll show you how to disengage the handbrake. So to disengage your handbrake, all you need to do, foot on the brake pedal, and then press down on that, and that'll disengage it. So now we're in the air, and the wheel's off. First thing you want to do is remove this uh, spring contraption. Uh, you can use it with a screwdriver, just kind of get behind it and pull it off. Uh, so I kind of just went in from underneath here and then exercised it until it was uh, loose. Next step is to remove this uh, the pad holder off. Uh, so to do that there is two little plastic plugs here I've already taken them out and they just push off and you're going to need a 7mm allen key and that's going to slot in to the back of here. Now I wouldn't recommend a socket because you're going to hit this cable. You will get it in on the bottom but uh, with a larger socket, ratchet span or whatever, you're going to hit this bit of metal here. So you're just going to have no luck. So what I'd suggest you do is you exercise this. Give it a couple of taps, fold them backwards and clockwise, clockwise. Um, and just loosen it up before you then start to loosen it off. You don't want to damage it. Once you've exercised it, it should be a bit easier to get off. And then you can just keep using your 7mm uh, to loosen it off. And you'll see it start to retract. So I've now just removed the last of the pins. Uh, that's from the bottom. It's from the top. And now this is all free to move. So what I'm gonna use is, I'm gonna use an old screwdriver and I'm just gonna prise this off and I'll catch you in a second. There we go. So that is the caliper off. Um, so the next bit we're gonna do is we're actually gonna pull this little cable off. Uh, it's not, I'll just rest that there. Um, this kind of just slots into place. Uh, might need to. Cables removed, we've got a little bit more lenience with where we can put the caliper. Um, now what I'm going to do is just pop these old pads out. These ones, uh, I mean, they're kind of toast. The ones on the other side are in much worse condition. They're completely flat. Um, the discs, again, they were pointing out to me before, the, the discs, they've got half a mil in them. They probably had, they're worn, but they had life left in them. But because I've got everything now, I'm just going to swap it. So the next job to do is actually to remove this motor because effectively, Vagcom, if you've got it, which I don't, will tell this little motor to go zzz, wind all the way back, meaning that piston right there will sit all the way back. Now, obviously when that happens, it means you can just swap the discs and pads dead easy. A lot of people have been struggling saying, I saw lots of videos of people basically saying they couldn't get the disc off. Well, funnily enough, there's just enough room there to wiggle the disc off, which I'll show you in a second when I take the torques off. But what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna remove the motor which you're going to need a 5 mil and Allen key for. There's only two bolts holding it in, uh, and it just slides off. And then I'll show you what to do. So the little motor bolts out. You need to pull this cable out here, which is a bit tricky. You need a flat screwdriver, and basically you need to push it up. See, it has like a little catch there. Um, I can't show you it on camera, me doing it, but I'll show you it once it's out. Uh, I snapped the one on the other side. It's not a problem. I've just cable tied it into position, but I'm going to check it in a thousand miles anyway, just to see how they're doing, make sure everything's okay. But effectively, it's very easy to break that clip. So just be be cautious, be slow, um, and just be patient taking it. So actually, mine didn't come out in the end. Um, I just kind of I used a screwdriver wherever I put it, 
and basically just uh, twist it like that and it pushed up and then I just pulled it off. But saying that guys, you should probably do that first, take the cable out, then hit these because it's a bit easier to get to because you can rest the whole caliper on top of the brake assembly now so you can get that quite easy. So maybe that's a better way to do it and um, maybe slightly faster. Um, but what we're going to do is now we're going to take off the, I've already taken one off, take the other off and then we're going to slide the motor. Our cable's removed. Uh, it's actually going to be a bit easier. If you put the caliper on top, you can actually hit these 5mm Allen head uh, bolts quite easy. And then when they're off, uh, the next job is actually just to move this motor. So if we put the motor somewhere a bit more easy to get to, you can see I can just about effectively pull this off. Uh, if you need to, I'd say use a small flathead and just prise it. But be, be very careful. Don't want to damage. So now... I've removed the motor. Now, the motor's obviously worth doing all the work here. Effectively, when the car's off, this is locked, which is why you can't wind these back normally. So we're gonna put the motor down for one second. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this clockwise, which is actually gonna wind back uh, the motor, I guess, piston, which is inside. We're then gonna use a G-clamp to compress the piston, and that will push it back dead quickly. So now the motor end's removed. Uh, we can just turn this clockwise and you're just going to want to keep turning this you're going to want to grease it up again afterwards but we're just going to keep turning it till it won't turn anymore so that's as far as it'll go for now that's fully locked so i think that's the full travel so now what we're going to do is we're going to get a g clamp uh out. so what i've done now is i flipped the caliper on its backside. i've put the flat end of the caliper cleaned it off and put it on our silver plate try not to touch the spine and now what i'm going to do is hand turn this, I might need two hands, Ooh, just to hold it. But effectively there is no resistance now. You could do this with one hand, but the caliper will fall off here. But uh, I'll see if I can set up. Oops, so I've spun off there. But effectively there is no resistance now um, in the piston. It spins, well, it pushes back freely. Uh, it takes no effort whatsoever. Let's push this back. That's it, that's all the way back. And now, what we'll do is, as you can see here, wound all the way back. So what we'll do is we'll put some copper grease on here and then we'll get ready to remove this disc. So to remove the disc, you're gonna need a Torx 30. Again, I haven't got a screwdriver, I've just got this. So a uh, little like ratchet extension. There we go, that's loose. Free that up. to loosen this out. Now, a lot of people are saying you had to basically remove all this housing. You don't, the disc will actually just about come off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a couple of taps around the hub just to free the disc, and then I'll show you what happens. So when the disc is free to move, you can just, just, really just smear that on. Test fitted and happy that these pads fit on the caliper. So now I've just slid the motor back into place and I'm gonna tighten that up and then effectively work backwards to assemble the brake system and wheel hub. I have now refitted the motor and the cable. I've copper greased up the piston and now I'm gonna slide this back onto, uh, well, on top of the pads into the housing. And then next thing to do is to copper grease up those two pistons. And then that is it. That is the new Brembo brake pads and discs fit. So now everything's connected back up. Uh, just make sure when you put the seven mil home key, key in and you tighten this up, third lock on there, um, and you give it a couple of taps for a hammer, uh, just to make sure it is tight, and then put these plugs back in place. Make sure you put that cable back on to let it snug down and it isn't going anywhere. And then that is it, other than this little spring here. Uh, that just fits in behind this metal bit there. Do it by hand. Let's even stretch it on. Single-handed. No, you need two hands. Yeah, 
neat. Now that's nice and tight. I gave it a couple of taps with a hammer just here to make sure it was seated correctly. And that is it, that is done. That is new discs and pads fitted um, without VADCOM and without any special tools. So now guys, just give my wheels, uh, wheels quick wipe. Uh, I've talked them up, put the caps back on. And that is it guys, that is your Volkswagen now fitted with new discs and pads without VADCOM, without any fancy tools, without having to take anything serious off just by taking the normal pad caliper off.